Hairy baby. I thought I would take a moment of your time and give you my thoughts on the Big Hero 6 Armor Up Baymax toy from Bandai. Going backwards, here is the Armor Up Baymax in his package as he would appear on store shelves. Pretty cool package design with the window up front and all the armored pieces around the Baymax in the center. Uh, the set contains 20 pieces of fun and it's pretty good value running only about $20. This is made by Bandai, so I'm hoping he's similar to, say, the Megazords from the Power Rangers. On the back here, you've got a neat little image of how he builds with all the armor, some of imagery from the movie, and a pretty cool shot of all the armor built up on him. Out of the package, we have Baymax here with a ton of armor just sitting on the table ready to place on him. Uh, Baymax himself is pretty nice, though, the little inflatable or should I say large inflatable robot character here. We've got a head with 360 rotation, arms that kind of move out and rotate around, legs that kick out and rotate a little bit. A little tricky to stand, but works pretty well. A little better than I thought he was gonna look, actually. Uh, for Bandai toy, I always kind of appreciate Bandai toys. They kind of make a nice, shiny, vibrant toy. Uh, a little different than some of the other toy makers out there. So now we should probably start adding armor to this guy. And what's kind of interesting here is, notice how he's got his little belly out here and they've got these plates that you kind of pull apart and then you just rotate around and kind of puff him up a little bit for battle. And that's kind of a neat little feature I didn't expect. Works pretty well for the toy. Anyhow, so let's start and add some armor and it looks like we're gonna start with his uh, mighty big chest plate here and slap that on. Uh, looks like we've got a bunch of pegs and uh, um, tabs here to, to kind of snap this guy into place. So let's see how easy that works here. So that actually fit really solidly and so far so good. Next up we're going to put on his arm armor and these things are already built in the package so I'm just going to split them apart and place them on his arm like so making sure the big purple uh, part is on the bottom there. There we go. There's that one. And where is the other one? Here it is. So far, pretty seamless, even though we're dealing with lots of seams. There we go. Getting bigger. Still very tippy. Next up, we're going to put up his shoulder plates here. And they're just going to fit nicely on here. It looks like we've got a uh, little uh, pattern to, to uh, use so they're not too hard to fit on there. Other one. Okay. And now we're going to put on some fists and they're going to just snap in like so. Not too hard. Kind of like a giant puzzle guy. Moving some things out of the way, now we can work up on his legs. Uh, make sure you've got the tab up front, and we're going to just snap these on into his uh, hip joint area, and they'll snap in really easily. And then we're gonna put on some more armor onto that. This guy is totally loaded with armor. Kinda took everything out of the package too fast. There we go starting to stand a little easier as well. Now we've got the helmet to place up on top. And we've got his uh, wings to place up. So I'm gonna turn them around there. There, <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, explosions. Obviously this will be easier to build when you're not filming it, right? the Armored Up Baymax. Well, talk about a pretty fun toy now. This guy is quite huge, quite armored as he should be in the name and pretty durable. I think Bandai did a pretty nice job on this toy. I know sometimes 
Bandai toys can be a little challenging and tricky with pieces flying off, and you did see a little bit on that. Uh, and I'm sure if I were to start smacking this guy around with the bad guy, I think pe things would be flying off, which probably would be pretty fun because that's kind of how armor should be. Uh, look at these great wings back here. Uh, lots of uh, rotation on them, kind of fold them down. And just a solid, solid, heavy built toy. And quite how you'd want it to be with the uh, inflatable guy protected by armor. So very fun toy and for the value of this guy, only about $20 on shelf, makes it for a top toy of the year, I think. A quick scale up to the Super Mega Force Power Ranger Megazord. You can tell he's a little shorter, but pretty thick compared to him. So these two would be fun to get into a little bit of a fight if you're collecting Bandai toys. So that is my time with the Armor Up Baymax, a totally awesome toy. This might be one of my favorite toys from 2014. Uh, lots to do with this guy. I love the armor. I love the wings back here. Uh, the articulation's good. He's stout. He's heavy. Just a lot of fun. Also like that Baymax figure inside. He looks pretty nice and shiny. Again, the value's really good. Only about 20 bucks. So I highly recommend you looking out and finding this guy. That's what I have to say about that. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Hairy baby. Hairy baby.